Hello and thank you for staying with us. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa where we discuss the biggest entertainment stories and of course bring you very interesting personalities. My name is Elsie Godwin and I've got my co-anchors with me, Benny Ag and Ife Omai. Hello. Hi Elsie, how are you doing? How are you doing? Morning and how was your weekend? Great. I, I like a vintage fun. shirt. I'm a, I'm a vintage fan so it mm. looks good on you. Mm -hmm. And it seems we were doing the vintage vibe as yeah. well. So oh, that's good. Yeah. You never I, I, get... I, I, I you I never... Get he doesn't. It's I'm cool. sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so we have a guest, but before that, the seventh edition of the AMVC held Saturday, and it had 27 category, which included a brand new category um, called the Multi Choice Talent Factory Award. Living in Bondage was the shining movie of the night as it stole the show, winning seven categories. Best director went to Steve Gukas um, and Ramsey Noir. Best supporting actor went to Ramsey Noir as well. Best cinematography went to um, John Demps. Best Soundtrack, Larry Gaga and Flavor Tene. Best Writer, Asidu Go Nicole and CJ Obasi. Best Sound Editor went to Christina Aragon. And of course, Best Overall Movie um, also went to Living in Bondage. Um, uh, we also had Best Actress and Actor in Drama, which went to Tony Abraham and Timini Egusa for Elev Elevator Baby. Now, that's the part that has been causing some controversy, but mm. we'll get to that. Um, while Best Actor and Actress in a Comedy went to Funke Akindele for Moms at War and Chibuna Funny Bone Stanley for Smash. Also worthy of mention is Best Documentary Category, which was won by Beverly Naya. Um, do visit PlusTVAfrica.com for full list of the AMVCA7 winners. Now, hmm. which are you not comfortable with? None. None. Are None you? at all. I mean, um, mm -hmm. <clears throat> I've not seen a few. Um, I've seen a little bit of baby um, Timini Egbuson and um, Tony, Tony Abraham. Abraham. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I think I, I thought um, Timini did a fantastic job with Elevator Baby. Um, he's one of those young actors that that is actually pushing his weight and displaying his mastery and his craft, and I, I, I felt he did fantastic in. Elevator Baby, and also to, um, Tony Abrahams Abraham. did also did a fantastic job. I mean, she she kept up with the energy from the beginning to the end, and that was one Nigerian movie I actually went to the cinemas to see. Amazingly, mm -hmm. you know. You saw Living in Bondage. Yeah, I saw Living in Bondage mm -hmm. also. Yes, <laughs> uh, that, that that that's a cap of it all for me for, okay. for, for, for twenty for 20, 2019. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know. So um, I don't think I have a problem with Timini winning that category. For Tony Abraham, I'm I'm indifferent. I don't know, but for Timini, yes. Mm. Okay. Oh my. Um, to be honest, I didn't watch those movies, but I've seen other movies where they're in, and I don't think any of them were undeserving of that. I don't think they were unqualified, rather. That's a better word. But were they the best choice? I mean, I don't think... It's so, it's so subjective that it would itch people in the wrong way. Mm -hmm. um, I think Timini is a good actor. I wouldn't say he's great, and I think he has the fine boy factor going for him, the beauty privilege. Um, and connections, but is he a good actor? Yes, and that's why I said no one is unqualified and it wasn't just based on that. Um, so I can't take that away from him, but I saw the other list of men and I just felt like, you know, there could be somebody else, but to each man his own and this is his time to shine and he deserves it, he's worked hard. So. Mm -hmm. I'm also very comfortable with Timini winning this because I think he did excellently well in Elevator, Elevator Baby. That was a different side of him and yeah. it was a rush movie from beginning to the end. Yeah. For Tony Abraham, like he said, I'm really indifferent. I, I, I don't know. The good thing is it was a voting category, so yeah. um, she has the Titans. So yeah. is it the Titans or what do they call them? What's the um, Tony Abraham's fans? Oh, I think. Okay, I don't know. I think it's also Titans. Mm. They're also Titans. But Tony Titans. Titans. Okay, so the, the whole touch up thing was messing with yeah. my head. But yeah, the Titans. So I think she they, is they, one they, of the they, most they, loved on social yeah, media. Yeah, she is. So um, you can't wow. take that away from mm -hmm. her. Mm -hmm. So I'll keep my opinion to myself. Is this the same Tony Abraham's of um, T Tiana, Tiana Empire, Tiana, Tiana Place? Oh, yeah. goodness. Goodness. Oh, really? Okay, um, <laughs> moving on real quick. Um, I also want to commend the host of the event. That's I.K. Osake Drew. I mean, he's been doing this for seven years and he's just a master at it. I love what he did with Kobams. Their performance was just amazing. And of yeah. course, Amina... The Kenyan lady, yeah. I mean, she was absolutely amazing. I tweeted something and I said, all the while I've been watching AMVC, I think she's the only one that has actually matched IK's energy without mm. trying to do extra yeah. or trying to be IK. She was herself and she was just absolutely wonderful. And let's move quickly to the best dressed. Okay. Um, so people are not comfortable as well, but one thing we should understand is that at the beginning of the show, it was said, if you want 
anybody to win, go to the Instagram page and like. And now some people did not go and like, but they're angry that Messi won and Mike won. Of course, do I prefer somebody else? Definitely. Did I put in the effort to go and like their pictures? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. And I feel sad that they did not win, mm -hmm. but I think we should understand when it's voting and when yeah. it's judges. Yeah. yeah. Did you think that Mike was deserving? No, that? I don't think so. Yeah. I don't think so. But based on the rules... Who would you have wanted? Who was your Stan. best? Stan. He doesn't have the fine face going for him, but that outfit was amazing. <laughs> yeah, whatever. If you... It's my personal... That, yeah, I know. Is it possible to have... Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I mean, that, that outfit, I don't know what... That, I mean... What? Mm -hmm. I feel like that outfit was on my top list. Um, talk about yeah. being unique. Um, infusing Afrocentry into it. Isn't this the Osho Abiyo Ikiti or something? Is it, it's a fabric that... It really yeah. reminds me of... Um, I'm, from, I'm from Asia and it reminds me of one of the stuff the, the masquerades wear. I mean, wow. those the masquerades that do the acrobat. Well, wow. this masquerade like, has a lot of style and yeah. a lot of drip. Mm. Mm. A lot of swag. Yeah. Yeah. And for the lady, I would definitely go for Ureke. Her body in that gown is amazing. Can we see that? You know, mm -hmm. you know how to ask. Like, sorry, is, is she this flat stomach? <laughs> yeah. Because then, like, so you know, I think she is. Mine. I've even seen some, some ab lines. Like, yeah. ooh. I think know? the only thing I didn't like about her complete look was the hair. I felt like the hair was a bit all over the place. Mm -hmm. But from downward, You, you know, I think this was her. just, I think she was, I feel this is some, something like mermaid like. You know, so the, the hair had to be that way to, for, for it to Okay, let's not dwell so much on Uru. I need to get okay. your two before <clears throat> okay. we move on to our guest. Okay, I think we have a common, which is Daniel Agre. Daniel Agre. Mm -hmm. For the men. Mm -hmm. um, he, it's nice to see something very different. It's just very nice. And the details, and when he had that rose in there, I think it helped us to understand the concept of him being almost sort of buried. He ended up giving like, the rose to do Kema Kema. Oh, that's mm -hmm. sweet. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm not surprised. Inola is one that doesn't stay in the comfort zone. He's that type of person that would wear that. And he killed it. Um, for me, the female, um, I don't know her name now. Um, can you put it on the screen for me, please? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Lily. Okay. Lily. Is that Liliana? Or Lily Afe. Lily Afe. Pardon okay. me. So um, I think... I saw a lot of legs Ooh. and I just was over it. So when I saw this, it was like a breath of fresh air. Mm -hmm. I was going to pick the other lady with the curtain look, but every time I saw her move around in the picture that wasn't perfect, it didn't look nice. Okay. But for her, it was just perfect. Her body is banging. I've seen her in person and she kind of looks perfect like that. Mm -hmm. The makeup, the style, her body. She her, works out. Her confidence is amazing. So yeah, this is my... Benny, for yeah. your female. Can I talk a little bit on Daniel Agri just like in a minute? Okay. Um, mm -hmm. he, he, he came up like, like a matador. You know, you know matadors, they, they wear the, the charger lucets. That's what they wear. You know what I mean? Looking like, like a shining, burning light. And mm -hmm. Daniel always pulls it up for me. I think he's, he's among the top five best dressed celebrities. He's like number one, two for me there. Yeah. And, and so I, I love this, you know, so, so, so fair is still and so inviting and taking you in. And then for the female, it's going to be. Sharon on, on Noja. Okay. Uh, I, I I don't know what that girl can wear that doesn't just fit sit on her. She, I think she she's got a, she's got a fantastic body. It looks like church clothes. Like okay. She so has, she before has, she has, you to go on, she has a on fantastic this body. One. Yeah, Congratulations to the winners. Yeah. But we need to go on the break. When we come back, we'll definitely introduce our studio guest. Mm -hmm.